Okay, so it appears to have loaded me in at chapter 3, which we kind of already know the outcome of. Yep, there's one body. So this chapter, we have been following Gustav, but as we know, you are about to die. Come on in. Oh, that's, that's quite the pocket good. watch. May I see it? I bought it at auction. Radio. Belonged to Mozart. Really? Jesse used it to contact Can the I show you something? You said you'd lost someone. Mm -hmm. Follow me. So what is it? <laughs> okay. How did you know about this? There's more. It's down here. What is? Yep, we're getting there. Come on. What are they up to? It's through here. <gasps> My God. Where are you going? Watch this. <gasps> What's that? It's a machine that can fly. <laughs> That's not possible. Well, hold on to your hat because this one is designed to leave our planet entirely. <gasps> a carriage that can be propelled up into the heavens. How do you know any of these work? I am my father's son. He would have been very proud of you. What's this? Careful. Don't want any other deaths. Why would you say that? Say what? Other deaths. Why are those exact words? What are they doing? What are you? Okay. Turn out your pockets. No. This isn't good. And that's the poison that was found by him. Loud enough. No one with a life as perfect as yours would want to kill themselves. Oh. Well. What'd you do that for? Let's have a look. See what you're doing. You didn't bring me down here to show me all this. You brought me down here to finish what you started. You're the one who tried to kill me. I brought you down here. To see if you could open the lock on that door. A locked door in a secret room. You're the one who tried to poison me. You're the one who burnt that document. <sighs> That's how you know what other death means. You wanted me out of the way. So you could take all this for the Thunderbirds. Let's get a better view of all this. The 
that this is my genius now. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know, we have to interact with as much as we can. Waste not, what not. Oh, I remember it's that. So where do you go? Up. Are you going to close the door or leave it open? I'm guessing leave it open. now sir and that's how Swan gets back in what are you doing Wow, the blind guy can move. What's going on? Je sais pas. Flora! I suggest... And this is where you play the innocent guy, huh? chess piece but it keeps disappearing I said don't trust Edison Who killed him? What was he doing down here? What happened? Flora. I just found him. I found him like this. It wasn't me. This outcome we know. So let's carry on. Whilst everyone does a little jiggy. Go on, have your drink and go off. Fantastic. So, got a few more things, but what I want to see is if we go back here. Captain! Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, I find it interesting that it... Right, stop. Because what I want to do is now establish where everyone is so it's going to involve see right at the beginning um, 
Let's see, can we take you back any further? Okay, that's about it. So you do literally start here, but I'm guessing you've already seen the body. Now, when I first came in, I investigated this. So if we, okay, there's nothing there. Let's check the perimeter. We know how many guests we've got. Okay. Almost thought that was a person. Okay. Big, big thing. Very dramatic. Very metal as well. Three stories. We also know that there's a... Is that a doghouse? Yep, but no dog. Ah, so this is the window that he used to get in. Okay, now we can play pick up the objects. So you start in the kitchen. Nothing there, the cat, the rolling pin. Any of this open? No. Right. Pan, pan, pan. None of that. Uh, pale. Okay, we've got something there. Sarah Bernhardt knocks them dead. The famed actress took to the Paris stage last week, dazzling audiences with her interpretation of Shakespeare's Hamlet. Notorious theatre critic Benjamin Brantley praised her performance, saying, This is a woman who knows tragedy. Is there any role she cannot play? Okay. Anything else? Not exactly. I do like the detail in this place, though. Oh, we've got another letter there. Swan's contract of servitude. This indenture made the 19th day of June between Oliver Swan and Nikola Tesla declares that Mr. Swan shall labor in servitude to Mr. Tesla in exchange for his passage from Zanzibar. This agreement shall stand until such time as the custom of the country declares it null and void. Oh, we have a diary. Um. Today, my assistant, Flora, finally received news of her husband. I know I am expected to comfort her, but my mind is consumed with completing the spirit radio. I do not know what it will do when I switch it on, but I will find out tonight. Okay. Right, so... As we know, this should go to this hallway here, and there should be Monday. Yeah, just as I thought. Um, do we have you? Okay. Okay, I think I had you already. Um. Come, my friends. It is not too late to seek a newer world. 
push off and sitting well in order smite the sounding furrows. For my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the paths of all the western stars forever. Okay. And I think... Nope. Uh, I do believe we have picked up this letter before. Yeah. Okay. So let's go here. Been there. This is the room that I know very well. Um. Vanderberg Boyd. Yep, we've heard that. And that's just a dead end. So we've done that side. Nothing visible yet. Okay, we have a music room. Song of the Sea. Can't really see anything else. What do we have in here? Normal book. Thumbs up. At first, I planned to use ethanol as a gasoline extender while I finished building the electric generators. But due to a lack of availability, I had to experiment. Much to my surprise, I found that tequila works. Funny. So tequila works. The people who made this game put a little Easter egg in about themselves. What are you? Mr. Tesla. Whilst I have the greatest respect for you as a fellow engineer, I must say the accusation you made in your letter did nothing short of horrify me. To suggest that my brother's death was anything other than a tragic accident is a profoundly offensive notion. I loved my brother just as my father did. I have no idea how or why you would claim to know such details anyway since the event occurred more than 15 years ago. Sincerely. Augustus Vanderberg, Esquire. I wonder if he's got to be getting all this information from um, his dreams, surely. Okay. That way. Two beds. Table, table. Ooh. That's quite lavish. Oh. Tesla. Rich men like you are always fascinated by men like me. Men from the mud. Your offer got my attention. But remember, just because meat gets a lion's attention. It don't mean that you want to be there when he comes sniffing for it. See you soon, Victor Mundy. Okay, so that's Victor Mundy's exception, exception, acceptance of the offer. Raining out. Can't play with the soap. Okay. So that's that, that's that, that's that. Brings us back out here. That's the door that's boarded. Which means we're now in this room. Okay. So, good old drink. 
No draws. Can't see any other papers. How about you? Regular book. Okay. So there's the body. Time to check out upstairs. I think the best way is going to be going this way. Oh. Letter. Miskatonic University, Arkham Library. Card number 1916. Name, Nikola Tesla. Address, 454 Angel Street, Providence. Book on loan, Necronomicon by Abdul El Hazarit. March 15th, 1937. Okay. I hope that's not interactable. Anything on the back? Nope. Okay. We're doing well. Um, what are you? Upstairs Lou? Upstairs Lou. Not really expecting anything here. That's outside. That goes... Well, if we check... In here. Oh, we've found someone. Where does he get his ideas? Thomas Edison seems to have more ideas than one man could master. Ask him, and he will tell you he has the mind of ten men hidden inside his remarkable cranium. A charming gentleman, with a wit only matched by his education, Edison puts it all down to sleep. He rests a mere six and a half hours each night. Okay. Another picture. Just a grey bottle. No. Ink. Just an ink block. Mr. Edison, you promised innovation. You promised greatness. Yet ten months after investing in you, we are still left wanting. If you cannot fulfill your obligation to us, do not expect us to fulfill our financial obligation to you. Sincerely, J.P. Morgan. So there we are. We found Edison. That leaves two. I'm going to take the risk and actually go up here to have a look. See if there's anything else because I kind of see this as Monday. Uh, yeah, I don't see it as being Monday. Uh, picture of Monday. Oh, what we got up with that? Oh, cute. And I got an achievement for that. Okay. Anything else up here? Um, just a bed. Oh. From this moment, my life is changed forever. The sounds from the spirit radio were not random. They were a message. Instructions in Morse code teaching me how to tune the radio. And when I did tune it, a voice spoke to me. I cannot bring myself to write his name. Not yet. But 
I knew immediately who it was. He told me to close my workshop here in Colorado, to travel to Heston Island and purchase the house there, no matter the cost. Flora thinks I am mad. But tomorrow, I will do just that. Okay, so he's haunted by his dreams. And we're outside. Uh, can't go over there. Yep, you're still frozen in place. Okay, so that is a nice dead end. We can live with that. And back down. Glad I did the stairs now. Um. Oh. This is where Bernhardt started. Disgraced Swedish detective quits. Detective Gustav Gustav has taken early retirement from the Swedish police force. Once famous as the inspiration for the mystery novel, the detective so good they named him twice. Gustav is now better known for foolishly releasing his own prime suspect during a murder investigation. Following his recent divorce and financial troubles, Gustav is not expected to return to law enforcement. Okay. An Act There Never Lies by Thomas Abramov The great Act There's mission is to tell a lie that is indistinguishable from the truth. But beware. An audience smells a lie as a shark smells blood. The acting techniques found in these pages will teach you how to make the untrue become true. You will learn to live as your character, night and day, until you are but a memory. Only the character will survive. Okay. Can we have a look at what's in your hand? Nope. Uh, nothing else. Oh. No, none of that. No, you don't open. We learned that about boxes. Okay. So what's this way? Immediately another letter. Nicola, how many tears must I shed? How desperate do you want me to be? Are you so inhuman that you cannot understand how I feel? You cannot keep me away forever. I'm coming to the island again. This time I will not take no for an answer. Okay. Nope, nothing of interest there. Uh, nope. Whoa. I must have phased into the wall. Nothing. Oh. Okay. Uh, and here we go. Where is Tesla? Once a flamboyant man about town, the inventor Nikola Tesla has not been seen in over five months. After abandoning his workshop in Colorado Springs, rumors have spread that he has taken his own life. Fellow inventor. Thomas Edison commented, Wherever he is, I wish Nicola only the best. I imagine that mediocrity is a terrible burden. That's okay, I don't really trust 
Edison, you kind of got that impression from me generally. Now, yeah, someone comes in here and opens the safe. Gramophone. Going into territory that I think I've explored before. Wrench. What are you? Just a book. Yep, yeah, I'd had that one before. And I think around here. That one I've got before. Okay. Let's just have a once over the desk because this is where everything is in its start state. Mandy trial erupts in violence. The London florist Victor Mandy attacked and mutilated his own daughter in a packed courtroom today. Mary Mandy, age seven, was testifying against her father for the murder of her mother. Mr. Mandy was later sentenced to 26 years in prison. So all in all, not a nice person. Um, let's check over here. I'm guessing you're just an average book. Yep. Brings us over here. That goes down to where Monday is. Means we've covered everything this side. Okay. I'm guessing that achievement's probably for having scouted the entire house. Which I don't think it's right. It has been challenging to divert resources for Mr. Westinghouse's project so that I may build the Wardencliffe Tower here in secret. But at last, it is complete. The hydroelectrics are almost in place and soon the storm generator will be functional. Flora does not know why I am building these things, and so she cannot understand my impatience, but they are integral to making the room work. So yeah, this is all part of his cunning plan. But I think his death may not have been part of it, unless I'm wrong. And it's the other theory that I have, that I am Tesla. And you are Vanderberg. Okay. Oh. Another picture. So there's a vault downstairs that needs to be got into. Um, tell you what we'll do. Let's see. Yeah, it does let me go through. Does it let me go into the vaults? That's the big question, isn't it? No, that has got to be open. Um, just double check this room. That's right, I never... Where does this come out at? Comes out somewhere. And it appears we have a switch. Ah. Ugh. Flora found the room under the house. In my excitement, I told her what it can do. 
that was a mistake. She wanted to use it, of course, but I forbid her. She was angry. I had to send her away. I need a new assistant who will not be tempted by what they might see here. And that's why he got the blind butler. Okay. So. No, we can't go through there. Intriguing. Uh, then that way. And then that way. And that way. Uh, way over there. Way over there. I think what I'm going to do is now we've established everyone's starting point. I gotta decide who I'm going to follow first. And Edison. Who should I follow first? I actually think it would be interesting to follow the butler. Because he gets involved in a, quite a few things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here. And that's going to be it for this one. And next time... When we pick up, we will follow the butler.